Over five years ago, I posted my first organic time lapse to the channel. I made a concept of an angelic goddess, and while I was proud of it at the time, I think it's pretty clear that there was a lot of room for improvement. Fast forward to the present, I've learned a lot about building Minecraft, and I decided it was time to give this old piece a little bit of an update based on my current building capabilities. I didn't expect it to take quite as long as it did, but after about two months of building, another month of video editing, I'm excited to finally present this revamped organic. Starting off with the body, I decided to add two additional pairs of arms to really add to the otherworldly look of this deity, who I came to call Ashra. For this build, I was inspired by a few different cultural depictions of the divine. The flowing white robes and graceful humanity of the classical Hellenistic deities, combined with the multiple sets of arms reminiscent of Hindu deities and the six seraphim-like wings from the Bible. Now I add the robes I mentioned earlier. A loft tool from Archeon is extremely helpful for fabrics like this. Also go back to add some folds and texture. Again, I'm partially aiming for a classical statue feeling for this organic. Now it's time to start making the hair. The original organic was supposed to be blonde, but I use the yellow wool, and so it looks a little too saturated for the look I'm going for. I start off with gold blocks for a placeholder to get those flowing locks in. I later will reference blonde people's hair on the internet to try and achieve a similar gradient. Something I found helpful was to think of it less as a yellow color and more of a light brown. Now it's time to start the wings. Believe it or not, they actually took the majority of time I spent on the building process. This was because I pretty much had no idea what I was doing. The wings on the original organic had some semblance of feathers, but they were still pretty flat. One of the reasons I decided to remake this project in the first place was because of Meg Ray's Seraph Organic, and so seeing how she did wings was a good place to start. However, if I'm not mistaken, she was using the old height limit at the time, which would mean I have 1.5 times as much height to use, and I fully intended to take full advantage of that height.
I decided to do a bit of research on avian wings to learn how to make them more believable. It took quite a bit of trial and error, but I finally managed to make the first set of wings to my liking. However, I realized I made a mistake. I had layered the inner covert feathers, the white ones, in the wrong direction, making the wings look more fluffy than aerodynamic. I ultimately decided to make the other wings the correct way, but kept the first two wings layered incorrectly, because I don't think it looks that bad, and fixing it would have taken a lot of time I didn't really want to spend. Because I get distracted easily, I ended up making her laurel crown before finishing the wings. I ended up making it far larger than I initially intended, but I actually like it the way it looked so I kept it. Unfortunately, I somehow lost a lot of replay footage at important moments such as the spears, the halo, and the doves, but that kind of thing happens from time to time. Now at this point I was tempted to just call it a day without even doing the temple. In retrospect I'm glad I found the will to keep going. For the temple I leaned pretty heavily into ancient Greek architectural motifs such as columns, pediments, and a cracked marble texture. I also came up with the idea to make the base of the temple almost resemble a layered wedding cake.
finish this build off, I decided to dust off some old spiral topiary assets I made a while ago. Lastly, I spam some domes around and connect columns to the ground and at last we are done. Hey, I'm glad you made it this far into the video. I want to quickly address an elephant in the room regarding my builds. Several people have asked me if I will ever make my builds available for download. Thus far I've been pretty indecisive about it, but I'm leading into releasing them at some point. However, I need your support. It's not a big secret that this channel has been largely unsuccessful most of the time, and I want to change that, so I'm asking you to help spread the word and promote my channel to anyone you think might be interested. Hopefully I'll be able to make an update to this at some point, but until then, thanks for watching, and have a good rest of your day.